Hi there and welcome to this tutorial on how to make some nice fancy pillows with diagonal stripes. These ones, or this one, uh, I've made with some corduroy and velvet. So corduroy is the red one and the very light uh, purple grey is velvet. So I'm just making two rectangles approximately the same size, just making sure that they're yeah, somewhat the same size. And if you know me, you know that I'm not that, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a perfectionist at all. So it's a little bit, uh, yeah, just as long as it's almost uh, the same size, it's fine. Then I use this nice big ruler to create some stripes diagonally on the fabric and I want them to be the same. Um, distance from each other so that's actually me being quite um, thorough for once even though some people would not call that thorough then I'm just cutting the stripes and I'm cutting through two layers at once I know I'm gonna have enough for both the front and the back and then I'm mixing the stripes up so I'm changing them around one red, one purple, one red, one purple, and so on, because then I can take them as I go along and sew them together. And you can see here, they've been stitched together, and here we have one front, one back, and I'm just gonna, yeah, I've, I've done a surgery seam on the sides to make them neater, and then I'm just placing the zipper, I'm putting it front of the zipper towards front of the fabric in one of the ends, and uh, stitching it on making a little bit of a uh, zipper end on both uh, in both end of the fabric because the zipper is longer so I'm just letting it um, go over above the fabric instead of starting it so they're aligned because then I'll just I'll just uh, put it inside the pillow or cut it off and then I'm just stitching down the sides of the fabric and you can see here that it's not exactly even in both sides but that's just because I made it a little bit uh, Let's call it fuss free, not too, uh, not very measured, not very perfect, just a quick way of doing it. Then I'm folding it out towards the front, making sure the corners are pressed out. And then it's just ready to have some stuffing put in. And as you look at it here, you wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't cut very perfectly because it just looks so good. Super luxurious and super nice. Thanks for watching.